Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get to your credit note or open the credit note in the uh, invoice mode of Tally Prime. So let's get right into it. It is usually used to regulate sales uh, returns before receiving the payment and it is pretty much used for that. It is very easy to actually locate. As you can see, this is pretty much the only step that you need to follow. However, I'll be going over the entire process here. So let's start with with step one uh, you can open the credit note in item invoice mode by going to alt g create voucher and then going to f10 which is other vouchers and selecting credit note alternatively you can go to gateway of tally vouchers f10 select uh, or type credit note and press enter then press ctrl h to change mode and select item invoice then you need to specify the buyer details by d using the party account name uh, then uh, select the party to whom the goods belong to and press enter and then the receipt detail screen appears here uh, under receipt details enter the receipt details as needed under original invoice details update the original invoice number and date of the original transaction against which against which you're recording a sales return and press enter then the party detail screen appears and here you need to update the original buyer details then select the sales ledger to allocate the stock items provide the stock item details such as the name item quantity and rate then select the bill wise details by going into f12 then use the default bill wise details for bill allocation to know and then you can uh, select the type of ref in the bill wise details uh, until you change the option in f12 of the invoice and then select against uh, or a GST ref as you have not received the payment against the, the sales Then provide narration and needed click control a to save and that is all you have to do hope you guys enjoyed i'll be seeing you guys next time